welcome back to another day in the life of a dental student if you're new here my name is Shivani I'm currently a fourth year dental student and I make loads of videos on getting into dental school day in the life of a dental student and things like productivity tips so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe so for today I'll be taking you around with me as a shadow a max Vax surgeon today and I'll also be taking you along with me for a productive study day because I've got so much work to do <laughs> So I'm just getting ready here. Most days I'm actually just either having lectures, which are online at the moment, or we would be doing evidence-based studies, or we would be in the clinic and treating patients. I currently treat patients three times a week, but there are certain days where you have these things called specialist care visits, where you go around and, for example, you go to a peds clinic and you see loads of peds extractions, which are basically extractions on kids. And yeah, so this is today, it's a maxillofacial surgeon. There are actually doctors who have completed a medical degree as well as a dental degree. And they focus a lot on like face trauma, like head and neck surgery, stuff like that. Um, so it's very, very interesting. A lot of the consultants have studied for a very, very long time before they get there. And yeah, I think it'll be really interesting today. So, um, basically, I'm just in my car. We're gonna go Sainsbury's to make some food or to get some stuff to make some food for today's lunch. Um, we're gonna be spending the day in London. I'm gonna be seeing a MaxFax consultant and I'll show you around as well. We hopefully will get some studying done, so it'll be a productive day in London. Studying, that kind of vibe. Okay, let's go. So this year, you'll see me do a lot of studying videos especially because now I'm in fourth year, one term has already gone by. Honestly, it's going by so quickly. Soon I'll be in fifth year and I just want to put myself in like the best possible position for that. But yeah, if there are any specific kind of videos that you want to see, like definitely leave a comment down below. Like I reply to every single one of them. But yeah, it's really exciting. I'm seeing like a lot of patients right now. And yeah, I really definitely want to do some videos where I take you along some of my patients and obviously all like anonymous but um, it's very interesting to see, you know, what a dental student does in a day, especially at my university. I feel like we are very clinical and that is something rare, especially in the COVID times. But I really feel like I'm becoming more capable as the years go on and the more procedures that I do. It's just, I don't know, it's quite gratifying. It's not all about theory like it used to be. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just going back now. Um, I got my snacks. It was also snowing today. That was so nice. I mean in the way that it's nice and it's pretty to look at and then the next day it's all like slush <laughs> but yeah um i'm walking to the train station now it's quite a long journey so i've planned to take all of my studying things with me my laptop my notebooks all of that and i'll show you what i'm doing in terms of studying because basically we have this critical essay that's due up in like a week and i literally just finished it like two days ago basically what you're doing is you have to find like a audit a clinical audit which is basically like a process that you do to refine your professional standards in clinic basically and then what you do is you have to critically appraise it so you have to like go through all of the sections like sample size and you know how it was carried out and why it was carried out and all of those things and you basically have to write an essay on it <laughs> and so yeah that's what i'm basically doing right now i'm looking at my handbook seeing what criteria there is going through some of the lectures and stuff like that just to keep on top of it and figure it all out before i have to submit it If you also notice, I actually bought so many layers with me and I literally didn't even think I'd be wearing them so early in the day. I also changed into my glasses because honestly, like I just love studying in comfort. So here I'm just basically going through all the criteria and figuring out what I have to do. Basically, I think in a few months we're gonna be doing and carrying out our own clinical audit. So I think it was just really important for me to wrap my head around these things, especially because, you know, I hate writing essays and stuff like that. I feel like I'm much more of a practical person. But yeah, the views are really nice. Um, I'm just getting off here at the tube station. Basically, we have to go to London Bridge. Honestly, the Max Fax place was breathtaking. It was on like the sixth floor and um, I have some shots from the rooftop as well later on, which honestly it was amazing. 
but yeah just making my way i'm not very good at the underground to be honest so very easy for me to get lost but yeah i love just you know city vibes you know seeing uh, in this this view as well it was really sunny as well even though it was really cold um it was just like a really nice day to be out it's guy's hospital which is you know the hospital that king's college london uses and yeah as we're walking up you see a really nice building this is basically the max Fax, um place and it's so beautiful it's like marble the guy is raking in money i can tell you that for sure but obviously he's given up so many years of his life to like train and become a consultant and stuff like that but yeah um i thought it was really interesting Oh, this is a really quick um, clip that I took of his office. I didn't want to like obviously be unprofessional and take clips of the whole thing. But yeah, I'm just showing you around. It's so beautiful. But yeah, it's definitely something that a lot of my friends are considering. It's really competitive though. So like if you want to get on to the kind of MFDS like courses and stuff like that you have to be very proactive you have to be going to all the courses and getting honors and stuff like that it really matters obviously i'm not like an expert in this but my max Fax consultant he was really nice and yeah so yeah i'm just showing you some of the views it was so beautiful i love london during christmas to be honest and then yeah i was just finishing up my work they let me go pretty early so oh and these are the rooftop views that i was telling you about earlier yeah i basically had planned to go meet some of my friends for lunch um so i just went to a starbucks cafe and tried to make some progress on that audit that i had to do I don't drink drinks from Starbucks that often, I actually prefer Costa for like, the only thing I get really is the chai latte, <laughs> I'm so basic, but um, I tried the frap today and that was really nice. If you have any favourite drinks, let me know, cause yeah, this was really nice. I've also tried the matcha one, that one's really good, um, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't actually know what kind of people can actually focus in a cafe to be honest, it's kind of really frustrating. I get really distracted by all of these people that are talking all the time. Here are some of the clinical audits that I was looking at. I was just looking at research and some background kind of things. I was trying to figure out which audit also that I wanted to critically analyze. But yeah, things were like moving on really well. Essays, I think, are just one of those things that you just have to kind of get done. Um, you know, set a timer and just try and get it done as quickly as possible. And this was just me walking around London. Oh, it's honestly so beautiful. And we ate food at my favourite place ever, which is Ping Pong. Honestly, they have dim sum to die for and just everything. <laughs> We went to Uniqlo as well because they had their Black Friday sale. Honestly, like Uniqlo has to have the best clothes, like just quality clothes and thermals and stuff like that. We went for some drinks and I went walking around Christmas um, lights in London as well. That was so like beautiful. I love doing that like every single year. <laughs> it, I never get bored of it. And then I'm just running to catch my train. <laughs> Made a little pigeon friend as well. And yeah, it was pretty late by the time. I got back on the train, but it was it was okay. I, I was pretty tired at this point, to be honest. You can see I'm just procrastinating, but I was just so shocked there was no one on the train at that point. Um, but yeah, I got home pretty quickly after this. So this is the comfy fit. It's just like this oversized black hoodie and black trousers. I've still got quite a lot of work to do today. So I'm really tired. I'm just gonna go through my to-do list, pick one or two things to do, and then call it a day, wake up tomorrow early. Um, yeah, cause I'm just so tired. I have a day of online lectures tomorrow, and then the day after I have clinics. So I'm seeing 
patience and like I said earlier I'm doing molar endo so that's definitely something I need to go over today but yeah So yeah, I just started to wind down, I was burning some incense, put some candles on. Um, this is actually my favourite study playlist, which is Howl's Moving Castle soundtrack. I forgot to actually film the videos where I was working, but yeah, I was just practicing and preparing for some of my patients that I had tomorrow or coming up that week, actually. But yeah, that's about it. If you want to know more, I will have so many other videos coming out. If there's anything in specific you want to see, just let me know. I have videos on literally everything from interviews to personal statements to UK cat, literally helping you through every single thing that you need to get into dental school as well as day in the life dental students but yeah i will see you guys soon i hope you're doing well uh, subscribe comment like all of those things and i'll see you in the next one bye